Okay, so let's talk a little bit about molarity and dilutions. All right, now molarity is a concentration unit that is used very commonly in chemistry, and it describes how much of a substance is dissolved in solution. This description of how much is dissolved is in terms of moles of solute, okay? So we're going to describe how many moles of solute is in a certain liters of solution. And so you can see the formal definition for molarity here, moles of solute over liters of solution. Okay, so notice it doesn't say solvent, it doesn't say water, it says liters of solution. So that includes the solute. So I've written it a little bit differently down here. This is a little bit shorter in the equation form. So a molarity is moles of solute over liters of solution. So this is a good thing to keep in mind as you're doing problems. Okay, so I think the best way to talk about molarity is to just go through example after example, okay? And so our first example is how do you make a, solu a solution of a certain molarity? Like what are the practical steps? What do we do? All right, so let's say we want to make a 1.0 molar, so that's the molarity, 1.0 molar solution of sodium chloride. What should we do, okay? Now, let's remind ourselves that this means one mole of solute, which is sodium chloride, in one liter of solution, okay? So let's go ahead and calculate the mass of one mole of sodium chloride, okay? And that's our molar mass, right? So we remember that. So if we calculate the molar mass for sodium chloride, we're gonna get 58.443 grams per mole of sodium chloride. Now, the way that we make this one molar solution is to take that 58.443 grams of sodium chloride, put it in a flask, and then fill it, fill the flask with water until the volume of the solution, and that's the water and the salt, equals one liter. And that would give us one mole per one liter solution. Okay, so we would call that one molar solution. All right. So let's do, that's the practical aspect, so let's do a few calculations with different volumes and different molarities. Okay, so for our second example, again, we're going to calculate molarity, okay, so that's capital M, and remember that's moles of solute over liters of solution, and so we have a, we have 250 milliliters of a solution containing 0.35 moles of sodium chloride. Now, the first thing you need to do with these, whenever you see milliliters, you have to convert that to liters. Okay, so molarity isn't in milliliters, it's in liters. So let's go ahead and do that. So converting 250 milliliters, this should be pretty easy at this point. Just divide it by 1,000 and you end up with 0.25 liters. And you really should get to the point where you're doing this in your head, where you just see that 250 milliliters and that's a quarter of a liter. Okay. Now, let's calculate the molarity for this solution, okay? So once we have our liters of solution, all we need to do is take our moles of solute, which is 0.35 moles, and divide it by our liters of solution. And when we do that, we're going to get 1.4 molar sodium chloride, and this is the number you actually get out of the calculator, so if we go up here, we check our sig figs, we can see we have two sig figs here, okay, and two here. So two is just perfect for this problem. Okay, now let's suppose we have 35 milliliters of 0.85 molar magnesium chloride solution. So how many moles of magnesium chloride are present in the solution? Okay, now this is gonna require us to rearrange our equation, okay? Now, of course, we're going to convert milliliters to liters first, okay? So, again, you should get to the point where you definitely have an eye for what this looks like. So, move the decimal point one, two, three. So, 0 0.035 liters, so that's not very much. Okay, now we're going to rearrange this molarity equation and solve for moles, all right? So, if we multiply both sides by liters of solution, we're going to end up with moles of solute is equal to liters of solution times the molarity. Remember, that's moles per liter. And so here's our volume, liters of solution. Here's our molarity, 0.85 moles per liter of solution. And when we do this multiplication, 0.035 times 0.85, we're going to get 
0.030 moles of magnesium chloride. All right. Now, the number that I get in the calculator when I do this, 0.85 times 0.035, I get 0.02975. Okay. Now, if we round that, so 297, so we're going to have to round up to 3, and but we do have two sig figs, so that's why I've added this extra zero. Okay, so if we go up here, we see two sig figs here, two sig figs here. So we round it up to 0 0.03, and then we put that zero on there to keep that second significant figure. Okay, so now what about taking a certain concentration of solution? and figuring out how many milliliters or what volume we need of it to have 0.35 moles of magnesium chloride. Okay? Now, we're going to rearrange the molarity equation this time and solve for volume. Okay? So here is our molarity equation. Solve for volume, that's liters of solution. Okay? So multiply both sides by liters of solution, divide both sides by molarity, and then we're going to end up with this. Okay? And plug everything in, so 0.35 moles of magnesium chloride, that's going to go for moles of solute. And then remember, 1.2 molar is 1.2 moles of magnesium chloride over liters of solution. Notice that the moles of magnesium chloride cancel out. Liters of solution is on the bottom, okay, bottom of the fraction in the de denominator. And so now we're going to end up with 0.29 liters of solution. Okay, so again, let's check the calculator. 0.35 divided by 1.2, I get 0.29166667 liters of solution. And if I put all those sig figs down, well, if I put all those numbers down, I'm not telling the truth about how many sig figs or how well I actually have measured this. All right, so you can see we have two sig figs here, two sig figs here. And so we can only have two sig figs in our answer. So we have to drop everything else. So 2, 0.291666. So we're going to drop that 1666, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Till we get to 0.29. And now we're going to convert that to milliliters. Okay? And because the question asked us about milliliters. And so we're just going to multiply it by 1,000. We're going to end up with 290 milliliters of magnesium chloride solution. Okay. Now, what about dilutions, okay? Now, a dilution is just the process of adding solvent to a more concentrated solution to yield a solution of lower concentration. So, we all can picture dilution in our everyday lives. So, if we make orange juice from a can of concentrate, we're going to take a concentrated orange juice can, we're going to add water and make or an orange juice mixture of much lower concentration, okay? So the equation for these dilution calculations is M1, V1, so that's your initial condition. Your initial molarity multiplied by your initial volume is equal to your final molarity times your final volume, okay? And so you, in general, you're going to end up with three out of the four of those, okay? So the ones correspond to what we have initially. The twos correspond to what we end up in the final scenario. Okay, now remember that if we multiply a volume in liters and a molarity, okay, then we're going to get the moles of the substance, okay? So molarity times volume is moles, molarity times volume is moles, okay? And this is just going to end up being moles equals moles. In other words, we're not adding anything to this. We have the same number of moles before we did the dilution as after. The moles of stuff in solution stay the same. It's the concentration or how much of that stuff in what volume, that, that's what changes. Okay, So the moles of solute doesn't change, but our volume and molarity change. Okay, so let's do a little practice problem. So why don't you read this and give it a little try, and then we'll go over the answer. Okay. So let's take let's look at what we have here. All right. So we want to know how many milliliters of 2.5 molar hydrochloric acid stock solution would we need to make 100 milliliters of 0.80 molar hydrochloric acid. 
Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Now, first, we, the first thing we want to do is kind of do an accounting and figure out what we're solving for and what we have. Okay, now we have the initial molarity. This is the stock solution. So stock solution is a term that we use to say, all right, this is what we have on the shelf, but it may not be what we need for a particular reaction. So we're going to dilute it to what we need. All right. So we have 2.5 molar stock solution, and that's M1. All right, that's our initial molarity. Now, it's asking us how many milliliters of this we need. All right, so obviously we don't have the initial volume because that's what it's asking us for. So we've identified that right off the bat. Okay, and what we want to end up with in the final analysis is 100 milliliters of 0.8 molar hydrochloric acid solution. So 100 milliliters is our V2, and of course 0.8 molar is our M2, our final molarity. All right, so it, let's go ahead and plug everything in. Do that on the next slide. Okay, and solve for V1. Okay, and we end up with 0.80 molar times 100 milliliters divided by 2.5, and we're going to end up with 32 mil milliliters. Now, one thing I want to point out here is that as long as your units are the same for your volumes, you don't need to convert to liters. You can. You would end up with the same answer. You'd just have to convert it back to milliliters at the end. But you don't have to convert to different volume units as long as they match. Okay, so these volume units have to match these volume units. And as long as they do, then whatever volume units you're working with, you can stay in those units. So in this case, I just left it in milliliters because I was asked for milliliters. And so when I solve for this, the molarity cancels out and then I just am left with milliliters and that's perfect. Okay, now let's also look at the math really quickly. Okay, so 0.8 molar times 100 milliliters. Okay. And then we're going to divide it by 2.5 molar. And I know you guys can do that, but let's go ahead and look at this answer that we get, which is 32 milliliters. Okay. Now, go up here and take a peek. All right. So we have two sig figs, 2.5 molar, two sig figs, 0 0.80 molar. Look, one sig fig, one sig fig. So we're not allowed to have this two. We have to get rid of it. All right. So because it's a 2 and it's less than 5, we're going to round that guy down and we're going to end up with 30 milliliters. So that's the final answer for this problem. Okay, so what should you be able to do? All right, so you should be able to calculate the molarity of a solution. Okay, now one thing we didn't go through in this video is you might have to convert it to moles first. Like let's say you're given a mass of a substance, you need to convert it to moles. All right. And you would want to be able to describe how to prepare a solution with a specific molarity. So both conceptually describe the steps or in, you know, actually calculating what you would need to do. And also you want to use the molarity relationship to solve for moles and or volume of solution. So you want to be able to rearrange molarity equals moles over liters of solution. And then finally, you want to be able to perform dilution calculations.